Hi. Uh, yes, we are live. Uh, this is Cinema Femmes Q&A with the Relative team. And I'm just so excited to talk to you uh, all about this film. Um, but before we get started, I'm going to do a little intro. Uh, just, you know, I, maybe it's better if I let you all introduce yourselves, um, but I'm going to do it first. <laughs> so I'm talking to the relative team. Um, this is directed by Michael Smith. And uh, this is a comedy drama about three days in the life of a modern American family. And uh, this is the family here that I'm talking to. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, I'll, I'll say your name and then maybe you could just do like a hand like, oh, that's me. Um, we'll be talking to Wendy Roby, who you might know from one of my favorite series of all time, uh, Twin Peaks. And then Claire Cooney, uh, she has directed some amazing shorts. Um, some of those are Runner and Pickup. Emily Lape, one of my good pals, uh, directed this really amazing film called Mercy's Girl. And uh, Melissa Dupre, Dupre. Hola, hola. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yep, so she is in many, many TV series and she's a fabulous actress. I, I actually saw her film uh, Two in a Bush like forever ago and that was a great film. Uh, most recently, she's known for Grey's Anatomy. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Elizabeth Stamm who also starred in a film called Bleed American, which I still need to see. And the director of photography, um, again, I hope I don't botch the name, Olivia Aquilina. And uh, she has done a lot of shorts that I've been lucky to see. And this is her or their first uh, feature film, Relative. So I'm just gonna um, kick it off with my first question. Um, how did you come to this project? And let's start with Liz. Hi. Um, okay, I came to this project. I actually met Michael while um, we were in Alabama, I think it was, on a different um, film. I was promoting Bleed American, actually. And he was promoting, um, shoot, I don't remember what he was, uh, Mercury and Retrograde, I believe. And um, we became friends and he was telling me about this film. And I was super interested in this character, Hecla, that he was writing about. Because he sent me like a rough draft and she was just everything that I wished I was myself. So he let me audition and that's kind of what happened. Um, I think I was actually, I was lucky enough to be one of the first people to get to audition. So that was really nice. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It was really, really cool. Just kind of connecting on that level at the other film festival. Wendy? Well, how did it happen? Michael sent me the script and I loved it. I loved it. And then we met at a Starbucks and talked about it. And I just sort of, I, I wouldn't shut up. I just kept talking about this incredible script. And it occurred to me that basically the premise is that you inherit more from your parents than the color of your eyes or your curly hair. You inherit their strengths and weaknesses, their vulnerabilities. Um, and even though the parents might perfectly match together and he feel, fills a need in her and she fills a need in him, how that permutates in their kids might might be different and give them challenges and I don't know it's 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 how you you know solve what seems to be unsolvable and you solve it with love um and it's it I don't know how to explain it but I'm thinking of uh particularly of uh 
Claire's character, Yvonne, and what um, what she inherits from her mom makes it difficult because of also what she inherits from her dad. And but together it it makes this beautiful person. Um, and I just thought, wow, that's that's like underneath what goes on in a family. And I love that. I just really wanted to get a hold of that. So we shook hands. That's great. And Olivia? Um, I had known Michael through uh, his past two features, Mercury and Retrograde and... Rendezvous. Rendezvous. I was like, Claire, you were in that one. Um, and I had also known the two DPs that had shot those people I look up to, people that um, I'm friends with. And so Michael had reached out to me about this feature and I was really excited because um, just like Wendy was saying, the script is really beautiful and wholesome. And um, I really liked the idea of shooting something that was like raw and true. And so I was right on board after reading the script. Claire? Uh, hi, um, I wrote the role of Yvonne for me uh, because we've worked together in the past and he's extremely sweet and supportive of me and um, my career and everything. And so um, we worked together very well on a rendezvous in Chicago. And then he, he told me he was working on a larger fa family drama and he actually wanted me to be involved in the writing of it. I remember this is way back when. Um, and I was like, absolutely, I would lo lo love to. At the time I was busy and Mike was like, I think he's aware that I, sometimes I'm like, I wanna do this, I really, really do. And then like three weeks later, I'm like, I'll get back to you in a week. And he's like, okay. And so he just, he tried to, he decided to kind of go on his own. And I think it came really quickly as it often does for Mike. When he writes it, it it's very, he vomits it all out. Um, but then it was great. He he sent the script to me for kind of like feedback and thoughts. And I got to give notes, which was a really fun part of the process. And a couple of times he was like, well, I don't agree with that. No, but then uh, he would either take my opinion eventually or or we'd come to some kind of agreement. And so I gave him like two or three rounds of notes um, and he was really receptive and it was great. Uh, and so I was kind of helping out on that end. And then I helped to raise some of the money for the film just to make like a press kit so I was kind of involved a little bit behind the scenes um and then I, I cast the film as well aside from myself <laughs> uh, I cast pretty much everyone here I think um and yes I remember Michael was thinking about someone else for a DP when we had like a lower budget um and he was someone who wanted to do it like for free and they had their own gear and all that stuff and I was like I think I think it should be I think it should be um a woman or a non -fop binary person and I really think it should be my friend Olivia and he was like oh I've heard good things uh and so that that the whole that whole thing made me really happy and then as soon as the cast list started to fall it, into place like we got such incredible people and um Olivia came on and all that and I just I was like oh this is something really special and I'm really excited to be part of it Emily uh, well I know Michael from the Chicago film scene um, so we've kind of become friends over the years and um, I had told him multiple times that I kind of had retired from acting or just like not that interested in doing that anymore um, but he's a good friend and um, I read the script and it's a really like lovely story um, and just over several conversations he was like well I really want you to play one of the roles and will you read for something and and so I felt really like safe and um, excited to work with him specifically. So yeah, so eventually signed on. Yeah, and Alyssa. <laughs> I know nobody, uh, nobody, absolutely nobody, but, but um, the Chicago theater and film industry and community is so small and so loving and so supportive of each other. Um, I got this project like any other self tape, but I had seen that there, it was Chicago based. And I had heard that so many of my Chicago community was involved in it. I set my tape in and then Claire was like, who do I want to kiss up? 
with, you know, like. That's exactly um, how that was done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Claire was really about like, who do I get to like lay in bed with and give bedroom eyes to? And then she saw my tape and it was a, it was a wrap. Um, so that's how I got into the, into the project. I had not worked with Michael. I had not met him. Only heard great things about Claire because we are in the same community. And so we we have a lot of mutual friends. We've been in some places together. Um, but this, I was so, so excited and ready to jump on board. One, because I'm a huge fan of Wendy Roby. <laughs> and um, huge. It's like really like it, I, it took everything for me to just like hold hold things back. But the way that Chicago theater and filmmakers move, the way that people are committed to the process, the way that you, you know, just invite the feeling of family and bravery and togetherness and honesty. I was super excited just to get in and dive in. And now like we've created family and we've created a really beautiful project where that love actually just permeates right through the screen as if we had known each other all for years. And we hadn't known, I had known none of the other actors that are involved except for a couple a couple other people um, in it, but it just zero to 100 on the love part. That's great. And something I forgot to mention in the introduction, well, there's actually two things, but one of the main things I wanted to mention is that I feel like this film is so important in so many ways. And during our crazy times right now, especially with the Ukraine and Russia, it's just like a film about family and loving each other. Like those are the films that should be embraced. And those are the ones that I think can make a difference uh, really just in how you treat people. Uh, So I am a big fan of this film and I hope everyone sees this, you know, for, the world's sake. Um, (laughs) And then the other thing I think I forgot to mention is that uh, this film is having its world premiere at uh, the 15th annual Gasparilla International Film Festival, which is in Tampa, Florida. And it is going to be on the evening of Saturday, March uh, 12th. Um, I don't know the specific time you guys can let me know, but that's the information I got. Um, I think 7.30 or 7.15. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you could get your tickets now. So while you're watching this or after you can just go to your computers and buy a ticket. The link is live. The link is live. Yes, that's right. That's right. And uh, so my next questions are going to be very specific to each person. Um, I'll, I'm going to ask a question, but also I would like you to add how you related to this film, either like through the family or through the character. Um, So you can just add that bit after I, you know, you answer the specific question. Uh, I'm going to start with Olivia. Uh, Olivia, I love how you film this. I mean, first of all, you are great at capturing faces and, you know, I mean, great actors as well, obviously, but zeroing in on the emotional aspect, like depressed, sadness, (laughs) love, you know, and you can see it all on the face. It's not even said. So I think in a sense, you are the visual bit of the storytelling. And I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about that process of bringing the characters to light. Well, I think... First of all, a huge testament, a huge part of it is who we're shooting. Clearly everyone we were shooting was amazing, um, really, really embodied their characters. So I think that's a huge part of it too. Um, My job essentially centers around capturing that. So um, I think it was really, really amazing working with uh, Michael because Um, some directors, uh, every director has their own tendencies and their own preferences when it comes to how to shoot a scene or how to shoot certain emotions. And um, one thing that I really favor is that you don't necessarily, one, need to always see the face. Sometimes you can get the best emotions if someone is turning away or doesn't want to look fully towards whoever they're talking to. So I think he was really great in um, exploring and favoring not always being directly in front of people. 
Um, and then another thing I love, which I think worked really well with this film was just keeping the camera on the subject, on the environment, on the emotions and not cutting away too much. Um, I think it really allowed for uh, audience members um, who are going to see it to be able to stay involved in what's happening in front of them and involved in the film. Um, and also, it, I mean, I, again, everyone did such a beautiful job in every scene. I think uh, not cutting around it so much. Uh, we only shot with one camera. So, you know, every time we do a scene, there's always a few things that are different. And I think it's really great to watch something play out fully because then you're involved in every single thought and emotion in their head. So I think that was a huge part of it. Um, Michael being also very willing and open to how uh, we wanted to shoot things. It was a great collaboration, so. Yeah. Great, and then could you just add about the relating part, uh, you know, to the family or characters? Yeah, I guess while reading this, especially since I wasn't acting in this, there wasn't like any one particular character that I felt related to. Um, or felt necessarily like extra close to, but I think overall the themes of the story, um, just being about like human connection, I really love when uh, there's films that only take over a few days and this one was three days. Uh, what a beautiful way of uh, having the excuse of everyone coming together through a graduation. And I love how every single, the whole, th theme of the movie is you you get to dive into every single um, character's life and every single person's trauma, their problems, their joys. Um, and I really appreciate the way it's written that not every single character has like, this is the thing making them happy. This is the thing making them sad. It's like every single character has different things. Like, uh, you know, we have one character who the whole time he is severely depressed. We have another character who the whole time she's like on top of the world. I just love how there was this variance between what everyone was going through. And I think that in itself really communicates the essence of life and you know what stage every person's in. So that's what I really related to. I like how um, not everyone was going through the same thing. I like how everyone had different relationships with the parents and parents had different relationships with their children. I thought that was really, really cool. So that's what I related to most in the film, just the diversity of emotions and people. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great. And uh, uh, Liz, right? Yeah, Liz. Okay. <laughs> um, your character was full of surprises uh, in, the, in a good way. Uh, the, the more we get to know you in the film, I feel like we fall in love with you more, <laughs> kind of like Benji did, uh, just because you know, it, that that whole scene with you uh, reciting or doing the monologue with the importance of being earnest, uh, it's just, I'm like, oh my God, who is this girl? So um, can you talk about your character and the involvement and, um, you know, that process for you? Yeah, I think... Um... One of the things I love about Hecla is, and I think that I can relate to her about is just like that, um, not necessarily wanting the attention, but just wanting to be loved, not only by Benji, but just by like everyone that she surrounds herself with and every moment she leaves her house. Um, I think she might be the kind of girl that has like a lot of friends, maybe more, more, um, quantity over quality for her. So I think finally finding that that family and that person that sees her for who she is actually is a really great moment for her. And the end of the movie where she's walking away and just kind of looking towards the sky, I think that's kind of the moment where you realize this is what she's wanted. She finally is getting the love that not only she deserves, but the love that she's kind of been looking for in her, in her, um, in her life because we don't really know her family dynamic either at all so it's interesting to see her kind of embrace this family as if they are her own which I think is kind of beautiful um because everybody's growing up story is so different and I love that I I love hearing about people's childhoods and like 
what they can experience from that. And like Wendy was saying earlier, what you gain from what your mother and your father give to you, like just genetics. So just watching her embrace a family that's not necessarily her own. Um, I don't know. I think it's a really beautiful moment for her to feel that love that she's always wanted. I love that. Uh, we'll just jump into the next uh, people, not person. Um, I want to talk to Wendy and Claire because uh, I, I, well, I mean, one of my favorite scenes in the film is when you guys go running and I totally probably connected the most with that scene in terms of my relationship with my mother and how I, I guess, Mm, is inherited the right word I don't know I've I have a lot of her traits like the good and the bad and you know we always have that that bond through that so I wonder if you could just talk about that scene and what that meant to you uh let's start start with Wendy oh it's almost hard to talk about it um it it just it breaks my heart um, to see what Claire is going through because I, now when I say I, I mean Karen. Karen um, feels this tremendous, not guilt, but responsibility because she she recognizes this is a pain I've struggled with all my life. And here, my darling daughter, I've given it to her, you know, and how, what to do about that. And then I'm thinking, I've never told her. Um, so that, maybe that's a gift to, to tell her that this, this isn't your fault. There's nothing wrong with you. This is, you can survive this. You can find happiness. You can find joy. It's, it's in you. Um, and everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. That's, that's everything that I'm saying is to tell her that, but being Karen, I say it, you know, by, going for a run and telling a funny story and, you know, so it's, it's, um, it's kind of swimming upstream to that, but, um, you know, everything that she's doing, she's doing for love, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's hard. Come on. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful scene. Both of those scenes that kind of match and, the run yeah you know but it's, I love seeing there's, the run. but there's it's a, so fun. yeah god I love doing that but there's also I mean it's it's lightened by this kind of humor that you know like like David you know dad saying what where where are you going and you know Karen bounces it up well, just going for a run. and and he's what the hell you know so it's, it's, there's this lightness in it, which enables us to, to go to this really raw place, you know, so, yeah. Okay, Claire. Um, well, first of all, I was so lucky that Wendy got to be my scene partner in this because I remember we did a, a Zoom read uh, rehearsal kind of thing before we actually met in person. And I remember I was talking to my boyfriend before I got on the Zoom and I was like, I don't know how this is going to go because like, we're going to be like, we're not together. And I'm supposed to be like crying in this scene. It's supposed to be so emotional. And like, I don't know how I'm going to do this over Zoom. This is just going to be just hard, you know, because like performing with someone in person is just very different than doing any kind of Zoom situation. And just connecting with Wendy and like we, the two of us, I think we connected very quickly and related to each other very quickly. Um, uh, and there was trust there. And I think we took care of each other as scene partners and we both knew each other. We're gonna be very vulnerable and available to each other for this conversation. And so I remember the, the Zoom read went so well that I was like, oh, this is gonna be a 
breeze and such a joy to film together. Uh, and that's what it was. It was really great. And so I was really thankful for that. Uh, in terms of like that dynamic, I mean, I, my mother's my best friend in the world. And, and also like I've inherited, you know, we don't know exactly what we're, what makes up who we are, but certainly like my mother was very upfront with me about mental health issues her whole life. And so I've actually felt always very comfortable dealing with mental health struggles and talking about it. And I feel very lucky that that was the case. Um, and so, yeah, I think that like that whole mother daughter relationship was just uh, very close to home and very easy to access. And again, with, with Wendy, it, it was really easy because we just, we got along really well. Um, but the actual shooting of it was also just so much fun. Like the, we're jogging around and Michael's yelling like, turn around, no, 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 go back this way. And we're like, we're racing around trying to kind of capture that spontaneity. And then when we yes. both collapsed on the ground, it just felt yeah. such a relief. It was great. It was a ball to do, yeah. That's great. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to have a check-in with you all. Uh, we're approaching uh, the end of the half hour time. Do you have, you know, 10 more minutes to, to... okay. Okay, great. So uh, my next question is for Melissa. Uh, I, I don't know if this is accurate, but I kind of feel like your character is a little bit of a fish out of water scenario where, you know, you seem close with the family, but it also, you know, there's a lot of differences there as well. Um, I mean, I, <laughs> I was like, I know what you're talking about. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> we're, well, we're all, we're all, we're all the same. We're, we grew up on the same block. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Um, but I, you know, I was going to say that I relate a little bit because when you're going to the in-laws, you know, it's like, okay, <laughs> you're used to things, but you're all like, okay, things, you know, may, might be a little different than my own family. So can you just con or talk about uh, your character within that family sphere. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it, you know, I love that you said fish out of water um, in, in that at, at first appearance, it would really look fish out of water. But what I value the most about um, this particular family is that they do a really beautiful job of making everyone feel like they belong there. And so I think that the history in the relationship that I have um, with Yvonne has always just kind of felt easy and loving and, you know, the, the, the matriarch and patriarch of this family have always just had such a tender and endearing quality. So it just makes it, makes loving it really easy and shifting that in any way is very hard. And so I think we see the challenges of that and we see how, um, how Lucy actually holds space for all of it. And it's because this is not her family, you know, she's, she's partnered into this relationship that you, you, you also have to do that with a lot of love and a lot of honesty and a lot of bravery, like so many family dynamics that are changing and transitioning, you know, leading with love while you're also having these very complicated feelings come up is the way to go. And I, I saw that in Lucy and I saw that in myself, you know, I, I, I was partnered with um, a queer person whose family was just like, they had all the best intentions from middle white America. And they were just so like eager and, and inquisitive about me and like my background as a Puerto Rican. And I'm like, I'm Latina and also black. And, um, you know, just the anxieties around the newness of bringing someone who does not share your ethnic or socioeconomic backgrounds and like holding space for that. I, I related a lot to what it is to hold space for your partner in their family dynamic while we're also trying to work on our interpersonal relationship like that. That was all love right there. Yeah, that, that's great. And uh, Emily, <laughs> my next question is for you. Uh, I think, and I may be quoting this not correctly, but something your character says early on in the film is, 
the more things change, the more things seem to stay the same. Um, and, and I love your character because it, there, there's a lot going on in the inside that you don't know about. And you can tell there's a little something there, especially at the end scene. Um, can you talk about, I guess, if you're, if the quote is familiar <laughs> to you, I might have to look at my notes, uh, what that meant to you and your character. And then also just the, you know, the involvement of your character in the film. You're at mute. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I think a lot of the stuff with Norma, um, like on the surface, she appears to like have it together. She's the oldest sibling and, um, you know, is really like a peacekeeper, peace lover at all costs and trying to smooth everything over. Um, but I think like underneath she struggles like a lot of us with the realization that, um, life isn't really turning out how you imagined or how your siblings' lives is turning out isn't really how you imagined and kind of coming to terms with that. So I think she struggles with um, accepting the reality of what life is versus really what she wanted it to be. And I think she's very like empathetic and takes on a lot of the emotions of her siblings and seeing her, her sister and her brother especially really struggle um, kind of, uh, you know, impacted her in a way that she kind of just feels disillusioned. And especially at the end of the movie, I think she's just like, really struggling with this is where my family's at. And this is where my life is. And I'm not sure I want this. And it's overwhelming. And you know, if you don't see your family all the time, going home for a visit can bring up all sorts of emotions. And I think a lot of the stuff that she doesn't deal with every day she probably it probably brought up a lot of that stuff for her so yeah all right well I think because of time's sake I might jump to the last question I had like 10 questions but that's all right we will get to the last one which this is my favorite question I ask people um and I want to start with Wendy for this answer uh what do you hope people get out of your film what a great question. Well, a lot of what we've talked about today really would nail it. Um, how important our families are and, and um, what, what a huge part of our lives is held safe um, in that family dynamic you know in in our film it's it, it's all of us in that beautiful house um together which it, you know the house means so much um and and we just we move around it and we move around each other and we leave space for everyone to tell their own story and it's it's really what makes us human. It's it's how we protect our humanity and and carry it forward. It's what makes us. It's as we'd like to think it's what makes us Americans, our 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 families, how we take care of each other, and. And if we don't, we'd like to. And if we, if we fall short, we'd like to make that up. We'd like, we'd like to foster that good heart inside us. And boy, we sure need it now. We sure need it now. We need to foster that good heart and take care of each other, celebrate each other. Mm -hmm. So I hope, I hope this this does. I mean, it made me feel like that, you know, it, yeah. just shooting it made me feel, um, look, we made a family, you know, all of us came to this and in a few days time, we told a story and we made a family. And I, I think anyone who sees this film is is going to be able to find themselves in it. Um, 
in these characters, you're going to find yourself. And I think you're going to, you're going to find hopefulness. You're going to find comfort. And, and you're going to laugh. And, and you're going to feel glad. That's what I hope. Yeah, that's great. And uh, I guess we'll just go th through each of you <laughs> to, to share what you hope people get from this film. Um, I, I, I would say just keep your answers more on the short side, but I would like to hear from everyone. Uh, Liz? Um, yeah, kind of like Wendy was saying, I'm just like looking at your family and looking and realizing that each person, even though it was all in the same household, it was different experiences growing up for each of them. So looking at them and realizing there, there's going to be uh, uh, fuck ups. Can I say that um, with each other and just being able to hold forgiveness for people in your family and appreciativeness for them? Olivia? Yeah, I think, um, Wendy, you had such a beautiful answer. I feel like all of us are going to be like, what Wendy said. But <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I really relate to uh, Wendy talking about how when we shot this, we really all came together as a family. It was really, really, I, I think out of any set I've ever been on, it was one of the most magical and unreal experiences. Everyone was just so like happy and like so excited to be a part of this project um even when it was over uh some of the cast and I we all got tattoos after of the of the movie like it's it was insane how much all of us were so proud of what we had done and the experience so I hope that reflects through um through the story and overall I would say family but I mean also chosen family I think just um knowing that like people will always be there to to be for be there for each other and that um it's just something magical and beautiful, human connection. So. Yeah, that's great. And before I jump to Claire, can I ask what the tattoo is? I'm just curious. Yeah, I got this butterfly because um, there's some hidden butterflies throughout the whole film. It's a, like a hidden motif. So that's what I got. So. Oh, that's awesome. That's <laughs> so cool. Claire? Um, uh, I'd say um, I would love people to... Um, uh, take away that it's okay to talk about mental health struggles. Um, I think that that's a big issue. Um, the Chicago theater community has lost someone to that. And I just lost someone else from high school to that, to, to um, mental health struggles. And like, I know for a fact that at least one of those people felt a lot of shame talking about it and like, didn't feel like they could tell anyone what they were going through. And that just like breaks my heart. And it's not, it's not anyone's fault. It's just uh, our culture still is uncomfortable talking about mental health and talking about therapy and talking about um, all that stuff. Like a lot of people in my life, I talk to privately and they're like, I, they're still really don't want to seek treatment or potential meds or therapy or anything like that. Um, and they don't want, they, they, they're ashamed of being in pain. And I think I hope if, if this movie makes one person feel less alone or feel like I should talk to my parents about this, or I should talk to my partner about this, or I should feel comfortable speaking about this, like then that's, that's amazing. Truly. That's absolutely incredible. If, if it makes one person feel like they can talk about their problems. That's great. Uh, Melissa. Yeah, thank you. I'm also jealous that you got to see it. I haven't seen it yet, so I can't wait for the screening. Um, so, you know, th there's so much beauty in it, and I'm really excited about the conversations, and I'm hoping that when people engage with this project, that part of what rings through is really owning your truth and being on the journey of the beautiful discovery of what that truth is. Because family, like anything else, like much of a lot of things, uh, other things are family is a construct and who you choose to stay connected to and be in relationship with is important. Chosen fam or, or a genetic fam, um, that that is a construct and that you actively choose that and you choose that with your honest, brave self. And I love parts of this movie where like, Folks are navigating that in a really challenging way, finding their, their truth 
saying their truth and still being loved within their truth. And I think that is what family is as we go through it. So I hope, I hope they get that. And Emily. Um, everything everybody else said, <laughs> I don't have anything to add to it. Um, everything they said was my sentiments as well. So. Okay, then uh, that's, I, that's a wrap. And, and I would just say, everybody, <laughs> seek out this film. If you have to go to Florida, that's okay. I mean, it'll be making the, the festival, festival circuit. I can't even talk right. But you just need to see this film because it's important, especially in the difficult times we're in. And there's just a lot of talent. So, yeah. So thank you, everyone, for joining me. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Rebecca. Nice Thank you. you. Thanks, Rebecca. Thank you. It was wonderful <laughs> to see you all.